Hi, welcome to Wise Guy. And the balancing chemical reaction equation, this is uh, for redox reaction 2, which I will show you more complicated when to see how to balancing uh, redox equation. So this is uh, the equation we try to balance. So this one is K2Cr2O7. The name is potential dichromate and react with water and sulfur to produce potential hydroxide. And this is a chromine 3 oxide and sulfur dioxide. So follow the steps and uh, in redox one, so I show you the steps is the first one, assign the oxidation number <coughs> for each element. So uh, first of all, in this situation, we need to see something is not changed. For example, the potential, because it is very strong metal, always call it one. So never change. And uh, oxygen is too negative, never change. And the hydrogen is a positive one, so not change. And uh, the only change we can say is sulfur here. Sulfur and the chromium. Sulfur, before reaction, a single element which is a neutral zero after reaction in SO2 because of oxygen is too negative that's why to balance this formula so you can say this is a positive four because positive four plus negative four will make a zero right so for sulfur from 0 to positive 4. So we can say from 0 to positive 4 is lose electron, lose 4 electron for each atom. Because this one atom for each atom lose 4 electrons. <coughs> And also we can say the chromine, chromine in this situation because you have two potential atoms, so that's why total the charge for potential is positive two. So Cr2O7 has to be negative two, right? Plus negative two to make zero. So let's say CR2O7 is negative 2 because oxygen is too negative. That's a total negative charge for oxygen O7 is negative 14 because 2 times 7. You have 7 atoms, so total is negative 7. So which how the charge be and make this total equal negative 2 because Cr2O7 total has to be negative 2 to balance with positive 2. So this is obviously you can see is the positive 16, right? So positive 16, there are two chromine, so each chromine, now you can say, uh, we second, sorry, uh, because this is negative 14, we need the total in negative 2, so this is uh, positive to 12. Yeah, it's not, uh, yeah, positive to 12, so negative 14 equal negative 2. That's why two chromine, each chromine is positive 6. 
right? Positive 6. So each one is positive 6 positive. There you go. So then we can see this is a 6 positive and 2 negative. And after reaction, this one is carbon 3 oxide. And this also Cr2O3. This is a, as compound is neutral. And it's not ion, like a Cr2O7 is ion, but this is a, a compound. So that's why, because oxygen 2 negative, that's why you can see the total is negative 6, negative 6, and we need to make positive 6 to make a zinc. That's why the chromine, there are two chromine, each one is three positive. Then we can find before reaction is posit six positive, after reaction the charge is three positive for each atom. So this situation you can see is what it happened is this one. Let's use other color. Okay, this one is from chromine. From this way, you can say is gain electron, gain three electron for each atom, right? From positive six to positive three, gain three electron because more electrons, electron or negative charge, more electrons will make less positive. The total for two atom, the total is gain six electron, six electron. So now, for this one, because only one atom, so lost four electron, but now it's gain six electron. So let's write down this one. For sulfur, is lose four electrons and for chromine is gain six electrons so follow the steps you can say count the total number of count the total number of electrons gained and lost. So total electron gain is 6 and uh, total electrons lost is 4. So that's why the LCM we need to find the least common multiple to make the total electron lost, lost equal the total electron gain. So the 4 and the 6, the LCM least common multiple equals 12. So if sulfur lose 12 electrons and the chromine gain 12 electrons, so we say the charge balance, right? So the next we need balance the charge first. So that's why make this one 12, you multiply 3, Multiply sulfur by three, we make by three. Let's write another color, make three here, because we need the sulfur 12 charges. So make 12, and to make gain six, multiply by two to make gain 12. So multiply two for this one, so that this this way we balance the charge so we can say lose 12 electrons and gain 12 electrons the charge balance and after this one the last step is balance all the other elements to balance all the elements just uh, using the mass conservation which is the number of atoms has to be same after we multiply 3, then you can see after reaction, this is 1 sulfur. That's why we need to multiply 3 for this page. Right? 
And for chromine, after we multiply 2, this is 4 chromine. 2 times 2 is 4 chromine. So we need to multiply 2 for this chromine. And because we multiply 2, so the potential becomes 4. So we multiply 4 on the product. Then last step, which is the check hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen, before reaction 2, now after we multiply this one, become 4. That's why we need to multiply 2 for this one to make 4 hydrogen, 4 hydrogen. And then last one we check because each one we already put the number. So last step we need to check if the oxygen balanced. Okay? The oxygen we can say here is oxygen 2 times 7 for oxygen. So 2 times 7 equals 14 plus this is 2 oxygen. So equals 16. This is 16 total. Then we can say after reaction, this is 4 times 1 is 4 oxygen plus 2 times 3 is 6 oxygen. And this is 3 times 2 is 6 oxygen. So 4 plus 6 plus 6 equals 16. So 16 equals 16. That's why the mass conserved balance and the charge balance. So this is the, the all balance now. The two more, the potential dichromate react with two moles of water and three moles of sulfur and produce four more potential hydroxide and two more chromium three oxide and three moles of sulfur dioxide. This is presented by Wise Guys. I just, uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.